end of the line for the F-A-18 Super Hornet. After completing its first flight in 1999, the larger and more sophisticated Super Hornet, a successor of the F-A-18C Hornet, became well known for its versatility. The aircraft performed exceptionally well in electronic warfare, air-to-air -air combat, precision strikes, and reconnaissance missions. Introduced in 2021, the most current Block 3 variant greatly increased its capabilities, having more powerful networking, payload, and range. Despite its successful tenure, Boeing has said that it will only take orders from the United States for the eight aircraft that Congress included in the budget for fiscal 2023. The decision marks the end of a turbulent period in the aircraft's manufacturing, during which demand fluctuated due to shifting military priorities and budgetary restrictions. The Navy has been building a fleet of 698 aircraft over the course of 30 years, and the eight Super Hornets allotted in the most recent budget will be the last ones manufactured in the United States. Still, if India decides to buy the jet for its Navy, the Super Hornet's legacy might go on a little bit longer, possibly extending until 2027. As part of its strategic pivot, Boeing will reallocate personnel and resources from the Super Hornet line to other programs. One of the investments is a $1 billion pledge to build new St. Louis facilities for cutting-edge crude and uncrewed platforms. The labor force will additionally concentrate on augmenting the manufacturing of the F-15 EX Eagle II, the MQ-25 Stingray unmanned tanker drone, and the T-7A Red Hawk. Boeing will keep maintaining the fleet, even though it will no longer be producing new Super Hornets. The goal of the Service Life Modification Program is to add Block 3 features and extend the aircraft's lifespan by an estimated 4,000 flying hours. In the same way, improvements will keep coming for the Super Hornet's electronic warfare version, the EA 18G Growler. These initiatives will ensure the existing fleet remains relevant and combat ready into the 2030s. The Navy's forward thinking strategy, which concentrates resources on the next generation air dominance program, which envisions a family of manned and unmanned systems, including a new FAX sex fighter, is in line with the sunsetting of Super Hornet production. Super Hornet manufacturing ending signifies a major chapter in naval aviation history, however the aircraft will remain in service with the US Navy, Kuwait Air Force, Royal Australian Air Force. The Super Hornet will continue to be demonstrated by the Navy's Flight Demonstration Squadron, the Blue Angels, guaranteeing its iconic position for years to come. What do you think of the new replacement of F-A-18 Super Hornet, the Navy's FXX? Write your comment below. If you want to watch more videos like this, click any one of the two videos featured before this video ends. Like and subscribe to our channel for more videos to watch. Enjoy watching. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.